Gnosis is the common Greek noun for knowledge, gnosis gnosis, f. The term is used in various Hellenistic religions and philosophies. It is best known from Gnosticism, where it signifies a knowledge or insight into humanity's real nature as divine, leading to the deliverance of the divine spark within humanity from the constraints of earthly existence. Etymology <inaudible> 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 Gnosis is a feminine Greek noun which means knowledge. It is often used for personal knowledge compared with intellectual knowledge, idine, idine, as with the French connoiter compared with savoir, the Spanish connoisseur compared with saber, or the German kennen rather than wissen. A related term is the adjective gnostikos, cognitive, a reasonably common adjective in classical Greek. Plato uses the plural adjective gnostikoi gnostikoi and the singular feminine adjective gnostika episteme gnostika episteme in his politikos where gnostika episteme was also used to indicate one's aptitude. The terms do not appear to indicate any mystic, esoteric or hidden meaning in the works of Plato, but instead expressed a sort of higher intelligence and ability analogous to talent. Plato the Statesman 258e In the Hellenistic era the term became associated with the mystery cults. Gnosis is used throughout Greek philosophy as a technical term for experience knowledge in contrast to theoretical knowledge or epistemology. The term is also related to the study of knowledge retention or memory see also cognition, in relation to ontic or ontological, which is how something actually is rather than how something is captured abstraction and stored memory in the mind. Aeneas used the phrase, knowledge falsely so called. Pseudonymos Gnosis, from 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 20 for the title of his book on the detection and overthrow of false knowledge, that contains the adjective Gnosticos, which is the source for the 17th century English term, Gnosticism. <laughs> Judeo-Christian usage Hellenistic Jewish literature The Greek word gnosis knowledge is used as a standard translation of the Hebrew word knowledge in the Septuagint, thus The Lord gives wisdom Sophia, from his face come knowledge gnosis and understanding Philo also refers to the knowledge gnosis and wisdom Sophia of God. New Testament Paul distinguishes knowledge gnosis and knowledge falsely so called pseudonymous gnosis. In the writings of the Greek fathers The fathers of early Christianity used the word knowledge. Gnosis in the New Testament to mean spiritual knowledge or specific knowledge of the divine. This positive usage was to contrast it with how Gnostic sectarians used the word. This positive use carried over from Hellenic philosophy into Greek orthodoxy as a critical characteristic of ascetic practices, through Saint Clement of Alexandria, Ionius, Hippolytus of Rome, Hegesippus, and Oregon, cardiognosis, knowledge of the heart. From Eastern Christianity related to the tradition of the Starets and in Roman Catholic theology is the view that only God knows the condition of one's relationship with God. In Eastern Orthodox thought Gnosis in Orthodox Christian primarily Eastern Orthodox thought is the spiritual knowledge of a saint one who has obtained theosis or mystically enlightened human being. Within the cultures of the terms provenance Byzantine and Hellenic gnosis was a knowledge or insight into the infinite, divine and uncreated in all and above all, rather than knowledge strictly into the finite, natural or material world. Gnosis is transcendental as well as mature understanding. It indicates direct spiritual, experiential knowledge and intuitive knowledge, mystic rather than that from rational or reasoned thinking. Gnosis itself is gained through understanding at which one can arrive via inner experience or contemplation such as an internal epiphany of intuition and external epiphany such as the theophany. In the Philokalia, it is emphasized that such knowledge is not secret knowledge but rather a maturing, transcendent form of knowledge derived from contemplation theory resulting from practice of hesychasm, since knowledge cannot truly be derived from knowledge, but rather, knowledge can only be derived from theory to witness, see, vision, or experience. 
Knowledge, thus plays an important role in relation to theosis deification, personal relationship with God and theory revelation of the divine, vision of God. Gnosis, as the proper use of the spiritual or noetic faculty plays an important role in Orthodox Christian theology. Its importance in the economy of salvation is discussed periodically in the Philokalia where as direct, personal knowledge of God noesis, see also noema, it is distinguished from ordinary epistemological knowledge episteme, i.e., speculative philosophy. Topic. Gnosticism Gnosticism originated in the late 1st century CE in non-rabbinical Jewish sects and early Christian sects. In the formation of Christianity, various sectarian groups, labeled Gnostics, by their opponents, emphasized spiritual knowledge gnosis of the divine spark within, over faith pistis in the teachings and traditions of the various communities of Christians. Gnosticism presents a distinction between the highest, unknowable God, and the demiurge creator of the material universe. The Gnostics considered the most essential part of the process of salvation to be this personal knowledge, in contrast to faith as an outlook in their worldview along with faith in the ecclesiastical authority. They were regarded as heretics by the fathers of the early church. <laughs> See also